Okay. Um, here's a game that is live versus Shredder. I have no. I'm playing versus Shredder that has 930 Elo. This is on the PC. And um, yeah, let's see how this goes. So I open up with E5. He hits my pawn. Uh, I went with random colors, so I'm playing white right now, or as white. Um, that's not something that I actually planned, but works out for me. So since, yeah, let's do this. Since uh, this one will be stuck for a while, I don't expect, I'm hoping that he, <coughs> or it, the computer castles kingside, so that I have my chance to, uh, to, um, um, okay, interesting. What's this? I mean, this is a wasted move. So this is really good for me. Um, takes away the option of having someone here. So, yeah. I mean, with uh, the bishop in the future. But I guess I could um, move this here. Um, could also move it over to there. Because there's only one defending right now. Uh, so let's think this through, actually. Before we make a decision. Because, I mean, it is the opening. But uh, the decisions I make now... Like, if I begin doing fast decisions, it will mess things up in the future. So I might as well think things through now. So I could go here. Takes, takes. Um, I could go... I don't take, because if I take, this one takes, and then it opens up the bishop for free. So that's not happening. Um, so I'm thinking... Pawn d4 is an option. If takes, uh, I take. But other than that, I just let them sit. Um, and actually push this pawn to keep this bishop stuck there. Um, that's an option. Another option is also it opens up this. Um, I could castle, but castle and then... Well, I guess I could castle and then move up the bishop. But I mean, I mean the, the rook. But that's not something that is... That feels, um, oh, there's actually time here. I like that. Um, it's not something that feels like the rook thing. I mean, casting early, yeah, sure. But um, I'm actually holding off a bit. Because uh, right now, I'm definitely having the better middle. Uh, I have more control, by far. Um, black is playing like me right now. The way that I showed last game. So I think I'll actually push here. And then I can open up this bishop. I can... I don't know. I can't have it here. I can't have it here. But I can have it over there. Which also covers the, the, the king. While also advancing. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so I don't know what this is. I mean, if I take... You take, so I can't take. There's some kind of plan going on here. Um, I guess I might have to learn from it, but right now I don't care. So you go here. So if I take, you know, actually you open up your queen. That's what you're doing. You're opening up your queen. So this is a move that I analyze differently than I usually do. Um, actually. Because I would never go here, I'd never go there anyways. I'd never go here either with the bishop. So yeah, this is opening, opening up your queen. Um, <clears throat> I wonder if I should castle now? Or if I move the queen over here? Or do I have a good spot for my... Yeah, I do, actually. I have a spot over here. For the knight. The problem is this. Um, as soon as this one moves... If I'm not awake, I lose my knight. And my knight is, I mean, it's defended by this right now, but it's, its its yeah, I don't know. I like i like using my knight for trading. I could also move my knight over here, which is a good, well, I mean, you could trade. I can see that. 
Um, and if I take, this one's undefended, so I wouldn't take with this. Um, hmm. Cause I'm, okay, so let me explain what I'm trying to say here. If I go here and knight takes, then I have the option of taking with a pawn or taking with a knight. And I was considering taking with the knight. Now, if I take with the knight, so I move these two, if I take, um, that means that the knight is protected by the pawn here, that's fine. But this one can move down. And when it moves down, I can't take. Because if I take, um, sure you could do the, um, the free piece thing inspired by Chespra, I mean Amon basically. Because Chespra for me is actually Eric. But anyways, I mean, it's both, but yeah. Um, so the thing is that if this one goes down, I take. Um, I don't have anyone de defending this one. Uh, which means that it's open over here, this side. And that opens up the possibility of queen a5. Wait, yeah, yeah, queen a5 check. Queen a5 check means I either have to defend, I mean, I can defend with a lot of pieces. I can defend with this one. I can defend with this one. I can defend, like, I can defend with this one. Um, I can defend with this one. But the problem is, if, I usually don't cal calculate this far, but this shows how much I've learned through analyzing and, and just looking at my own games, because I actually looked at my own games before I did the video. So... All of that is coming to fruition and also recording, like basically knowing that I'm recording while playing also makes me better because now I actually analyze for real because I know that I can rewatch this as well. And it's only three minutes. Like for normal players, this is a lot of time. For me, this is awesome because it feels a lot longer, but it but it's actually a short amount of time. So there's a lot of different ideas going on here. And also this line that, I've, that I'm calculating goes pretty far. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about for me. Because we're basically, we're down here, da da da. And then this one goes here. I mean, yeah. So I don't really like that line. So I guess maybe I castle now to keep it safe, get out of that whole thing. Uh, do I have another, do I have another move? I have this. Like I said, it's risky with because uh, I have to remember this part. Um, but it's actually really good having someone over there. Also, I have this one defending, actually. I like that. Because, because it also means that if I go here, this one has to go... Well, okay, let me think. Let me think here. So let's recalculate this. If I go here, if takes, and if I take, so I was talking about taking with this one, right? And this one goes forward. So let's do the other one instead. So I go here, takes, takes, this one goes down, I take. Uh... That's the thing though, I'm usually wrong with the pawns. So the pawn probably wouldn't take when I would expect it to take. So I go here, you go there, I go here, I block this. This one can move down whenever. I can move up whenever, but I won't because you have three, well, yeah, you have two, at least two defending since this one's gone. Um, yeah. This is definitely over calculating for sure, but I actually like it. Could keep the knight here and just uh, keep eyes open and peeled and then move push pawns in the meantime. That's one I like. So having a knight here is actually kind of good. Having a knight there is good, uh, even better actually, much better. Problem is you trade for sure. Um, I guess if I go knight here, if I go knight here, 
Knight there. You take. That could actually work. Because if I go knight here first, you go there. And then we have the whole shenanigans here. And then if I go here, I mean, then this one just goes down. Yeah, so let's go here first. Let's try that. Okay, this one moves. So you're hitting here. What's your plan? Oh, you want to kill this one? Okay. Um, <clears throat> that means that I can... I can go here with the knight. Which means you can't go here, you can't go... But the problem is this. If I go here with the knight, you might find a way to push... To threaten my knight. Let's say you go here. Then you threaten my knight and you threaten my... Uh, whatever that is and I lose one of them because if I go here you just go there so I don't like that um, I could go here with the queen but yeah I don't like that either okay anyways so that's but actually I mean it's a good thing that I'm thinking of this because it actually shows that I've seen this before I'm recognizing this pattern and I had some bad plays personally when I've seen this this um, the queen move around here has usually ended badly for me when I'm not focused. Um, so what can I do versus the king? I can go here, check. Um, just for the sake of... But I mean, the bishop is worse. So if the bishop goes here, it's a lot worse than the way it is now. So if I just check for the sake of checking, it doesn't help. Sure, I'm defending. But it's like it does nothing good for me. If the knight goes here, that's actually, I mean, it's not good, but it's, yeah. No, it, it like, okay, so checking, there's no point in checking right now. Um, I don't see any, okay, so if I go here, I die. Um, so it's either defend here or castle. Or push upon. I guess I could go here with the. Okay, no, let's do that later. Okay, so let's go here with the rook. And then. Yeah, this one's defended. This one's defended. That one's defended. This one's defended. Okay. Yeah, let's go here with the queen. So we defend these two. I like that. You go here. Why? Wait, you were here. You go here. You're attacking there. And you are... I don't know what this is. Okay. Oh, I can't go with the... I get it. Now I can't move the knight. Okay, so I go here. Okay. So you're expecting me to go here with the knight. Interesting. That means that this play was good. The play that I did there. Because it changed the way that... Okay, so we castle here. It's a free move. I'm letting you make some mistakes. If you make any mistakes. Because the good thing now is that I'm not actually losing out on any offensive. Okay, so right now I can go here. And I can attack you. Uh, you can go there with the knight. Uh, hitting, okay, yeah, defending, I mean, yeah. Hmm. Hmm, okay, what other options do we have here? Yeah, I keep this closed for now. I could open over here later on, but right now I don't need to. Um. If anything comes here, I kick... Especially on the, on the, it's just the G file. Yeah, you call that file, I guess. Is it rank? No, file. I guess rank is on the, yeah, exactly. Oh, now I remembered. Because I was thinking of that when I was talking earlier with the video. But I couldn't remember if it was file or rank. But now I remember. So let me see here. If I push pawns. If I go here, you take. 
If I go there, wait, if I go here and down, uh, yeah, it's almost time to push pawns. Not yet, but soon. Okay. I can go here, hitting this. Um, we might push pawns. Wait, this one's... Can I, well, like, you know, could you hit, okay. Yeah, we might actually, am I pushing pawns? I'm not pushing middle because I'm not, I don't like the, I don't like that. Well, actually, okay, wait, the play might have changed now. So if I go here, you have two. That's one. Actually, I have no one defending there right now. So there's no way I'm pushing that one. Um, could go here. One takes. You actually just have one defending. But then you can hit this. And I can't take that. And then this one has to go where? Down here? No, no, no. Let's keep that situation. I like this. My knight is more active than, than this knight. So, yeah. Okay. I think we push pawns. We actually push pawns. I don't usually do this. But, um... Yeah. You're there. You're there. You went here, you ready to go here, go there, no, I don't know, okay. Yeah, I'll just uh, hold off for now, push pawns. You take, so if I take, this one's not defended, but I open up this file. And also my queen is available. Because uh, I mean, this one's being hit, so I have to grab that. I don't have to, but you know what I mean. Now this one, if I grab and Let's see, do I have the time? I grab, you go down, you hit this, and that with the bishop. So I lose one piece. Because I don't have the tempo. Well, oh yeah, I have this one attacking there. Okay, yeah, we're good. Let's do this. So you go here, this one goes there, okay. So now I guess I could go queen over there, or I push this pawn. I can push the pawn, makes it hard for the queen. I actually like that. I can also go with the, if I go with the knight, stand here, well, you can go down there. That doesn't help me at all. I mean, you go down there instantly if I go there with this. If I go there with this one though, I mean, yeah, you go, okay, so I go here, you go there, you're hitting me with two, I cannot take, actually, yeah, I have this, okay, wait, so I go here, you go down, if I take, you take, so I just stay there, so, I'm, so I go here, you go there, I go with the queen, uh, if you take, I take, you take, I take. No, if I go there, you go there, I go here, you take, I take, wait, do I want to have the bishop? Well, yeah, yeah, okay, right now the knight is more useful, but I mean, this one's not stuck, so yeah, so yeah, basically here, there, there, takes, uh, knight takes, bishop takes, um, Knight takes, black bishop takes, yeah. This bishop, bishop check. This one either parries, this one parries, or this one parries. This one doesn't parry, no chance, okay. So this one can parry there, won't. But it parry here, parry there, or parry, or this one goes away. Okay. That's actually a move right there. So I go here. Yeah, there's no way you just take, because I have two defending. And I don't go here first, because if I go here first, you just push that. I like that. Yeah, this actually works. Let's do that. You go here. What? Why do you go here? What's your plan here?
I mean, you're going there? No. What the hell are you doing here? I just kick you. Get out of there. Va! Yeah, there's a lot of mistakes right now by this one. So I grab, you grab. This one's open. I get it. Okay. Yeah, that's actually check. That is actually check. So, I mean, checkmate. So I can, what I can do is I can go down with this. Well, okay, let me think before I give up. I mean, I'm not giving up, but before I, so this is super dangerous. This is checkmate right there. If he goes down, I'm dead. Oh, no, actually I take, Never mind. He needs two rooks for that to work. Okay, so that's actually fine. But I like the, the, the fact that I saw that as a threat. Yeah, if I go there, I'm dead. If I go here, I'm dead, okay, with the knight. Um, I can go here, takes, but I can't defend, so that's garbage. I can go there. This one hits, this one hits. So that is, I go there, you take, I take, you take, I lose. Okay. That doesn't help me. So I need to move this, though, to a more active spot. I can't move it like this. That plan is dead. I guess I can go here. No, yeah, well, there, there, dead. There, dead. <laughs> okay. Right now, this one's useless. Do I trade this? Right now, I mean, if yeah, that's what I talked about before. If I trade it, this one goes down, and I have to move this one, and I have to move it backwards. Actually, it's dead instantly as soon as I move that. So I need to get rid of this. I need to get rid of this piece. Uh, this one's actually dead. I didn't notice. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so... If I push, you take, oh, I, this one takes. No, because this one's there. Hmm. Okay, so this one goes there. Takes, takes. This one goes there. Takes, takes, if takes, takes, yeah. Okay. So maybe I go here. Huh. There's a lot of thinking. I woke up super early today and I think that's that's my brain is kind of um I'm going to do something with the phone. I don't want the sound on. It's not needed. Um Hmm. The good thing I, is I haven't blundered yet. But I think the move I did before this, I think was bad. And I think that where I'm heading right now, things are getting worse. I have four here. This one has two. I have two here. Okay. So if I go here, what happens? What does this do? I hit these two. I add pressure there. Also, it hasn't castled yet. Hmm, okay, let me think. If I, <clears throat> oh yeah. If I push this, this one is not defended by two anymore. It's defended by one. So then this one pushes. If I go here, this one could go there. Then they have two, and well, I have the rook, okay. But I mean, I don't, I don't sacrifice the rook. Oh shit, never mind. Okay, I'm overthinking this. Hmm. I'm not pushing pawns kingside yet. Or am I? Maybe I am. Maybe I just go aggressive. Maybe I just use pawns and push forward and just grab these guys as much as I can. <clears throat> no, I don't. Okay, if I go here, there's no one hitting this right now. This queen is useless. 
So queen could go there. Uh, hitting here. Nah, that's useless. Better off there. Let me think. I need to get rid of this one, right? If I push, this one takes. So I might need a rook here. If you go... You, this one can't go. It can go there, it can go there, it can go there. Wait, think, think. Does nothing. Uh, think, think. Does nothing. Okay, let me think. Yeah, so let's go rook here. Yeah, this one's not playing good right now. Um... Okay, so the queen, if I go here, wait, this one was hitting here, right? So now if I go here, we have one attacking. If I go there, we have one attacking. Ding. Oh shit, that's not good. Okay, yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, so I need to move this rook. It's not working right now. Okay. Okay, so what I could do is I could go here. If takes, I know this one takes, so that's garbage. Huh, if I go here, that, no, if I go, no. Yeah, this is convoluted. I'm not playing well right now. I'm overthinking this. Okay, this one needs to move so I can push this pawn. <clears throat> Maybe I go there. When I go here, I still hit here. I still hit here. This one, I get that out of the way. Let's try that. Yeah, right now I don't know what's happening, but okay. So if I go here and if takes, I have to save this guy. I can't save him. So maybe... Maybe I go here with the queen. Then I hit this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. This guy's doing nothing right now. This guy's doing nothing. Okay, if I take, this one can move elsewhere. This one can move here. I mean, okay. Because then I have a spot for the queen. So if take, oh no, they have two hitting. So this one takes, you take, I take, okay. Doesn't work. So I go here with the king. What? Yeah, this is weird. That now this is now this is this is, this has happened before. I don't know why this happens. But Shredder just blunders pieces. I've seen that before. So if I take, you take, I take. I mean, from now on, it's super easy. You resign. Yeah. Okay, so since this is a recording, you can actually see that it resigns, right? But I actually continue. So you hit here, completely pointless, right? Um, so now I need to think of quick ways to win this. Um, <clears throat> so the queen is out of the question right now. The king is over there, completely blocked. So I could go here, I could go check. No, it doesn't help. Okay. Because I sacrifice. Okay, so if I go here, takes, takes, takes. That actually opens up the... 
There's no threat here right now, not yet. So, yeah, let's open up the middle. You take. I might have miscalculated something here. Uh, actually, I think having the queen. Um, let's see, if I go, yeah, let's wait. Because if I go, if I go here, if I get, no, because you have that one. So I can't check there. Not yet. It's still an issue. So I guess I could go, well, I need to get rid of this though. Wait, what, which move did I do? I don't remember. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Okay. So you're threatening this guy. Um... If I take, then I defend as well. So, I mean, that's a no-brainer. I defend. Yeah, there's a lot of blunders right now from the... Okay, yeah, so this is a win. This is... If I go here, I mean... Yeah, okay, so... Right now, we're going for the attack. We're going for the for the ultimate so let's see um if i go check that's checkmate yeah nice what usually happens is that i i uh mess up the game <clears throat> so i get too cocky and i can't win without blunders your rating after 12 games is 957 I'll increase my player strength yeah um, yeah so this game I played this is one of my better games actually it's not super solid entirely but it's also very solid because I I mean the fact that I'm recording made me spend more time which is a good thing because usually I, I waste a lot of time, right? So, um, yeah, so I won't analyze this game now, but I will save the game. Uh, 9.24, 9.30. Yeah. Is there anything else I want to say? I guess I could, if I go back to the beginning, I mean, I guess I, uh, yeah, I guess I can check. Oh, it shows. That's interesting. So you can actually see how it changes. I like Shredder, man. I like Shredder. Shredder's great. I really like that. Anyways, okay. That's really, really good. That's a really good feature. It makes things so much easier. Isn't it here? Oh, maybe. It, yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. Because if I move it here... Yeah, anyways, okay. Um, I'm not going to analyze the game, but I'm going to... Well, I guess I'm analyzing the game. Wait, how long have I recorded? How long was this game? So this was 30 minutes. 33, actually, but yeah. So that's a good pace. I like that, because I was hoping that 30 minutes would be a good number for me to play. Um... Yeah, the fact that that um, Shredder moved the pawn instead of the knight, um, actually, or the bishop, actually made it uh, easier for me to advance. Because usually I have issues with the pawns in the middle, so I can't move freely, especially pawns plus knights. Um, and this was a free move as well. This was gigantic. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's two moves right there. So that's two moves. There is no knight. Um, there is no bishop. I mean, that, yeah, that's, oh shit, I hit the mic. That That's huge. That's really huge right there. Another pawn. I mean, it's, yeah, so you have plans for the queen instead of taking out the, so you don't take out, you don't have this bishop moved at all. You So you can't castle. You haven't moved this one. You haven't moved those. I mean, that's three moves right there. 
That's three moves right there. You have some plan with the queen, which I stopped there. I mean, I'm analyzing the game right now, I know. but And this is a quick anal analyze, analy whatever the fuck, right? Because I don't need to... The reason I'm doing it quick this time is because I'm not I'm not looking for... Okay, yeah. Yeah, I didn't expect... Like, there, there's so many moves. I didn't expect to go all the way back there. I mean, this is dead. You don't see... Oh, sorry. I pointed with my hand, but... I mean, this is completely dead. You could have had it here. You could have had it... Like, here is really good. It's not really good, but it, I mean, it's it's okay, right? Because then you can still bring out your... Uh, this whatever the fuck, right? And you have this guy. I mean... But back here, he's dead. Yeah, this is... This is... Uh, Shredder was playing... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is... Yeah, so basically, I need, to, I need to make sure that I keep on winning a couple of games. So that Shredder is above... 1.1 because this is not okay this is not okay there's a thing with the pawns where it's a good idea to capture towards middle I don't really follow that entirely but I but it's but I do keep track of it even if I didn't speak about it so I'm remembering more and more I don't know what that move is so okay so the thing shredder does the biggest problem is that shredder keeps moving the same pieces over and over this one several times this one several times this one several times that's why my development is so so ahead um and i kicked this one instantly uh, inspired by uh aman hamilton and he doesn't move it so it's like okay so you you, you yeah basically playing like me the good thing is that i see it that's the good thing. So I don't I don't miss it as easily as I used to. So I actually see the attack. So I see the blunder and I kill it, right? Um, and I got scared here because it opened up the, the thing. And then I realized that if it goes solo, it can't do anything anyways. And I mean, it doesn't have like it's so far off, so behind, so far behind in the development, so it's fine. And here I go, Hamilton. I go, okay. So I have the rook. I have these guys in the back. I might as well push this guy because i have an idea with this this uh pawn it, in case it would come forward then i can kill it but it's also defended there and if it goes forward it's not defended so and i also like this this is another thing um is the fact that if you play versus someone that is worse than you you expect moves that they don't do and the moves they make make it easier for you to survive which also is a great sign this move so these moves that i did that were small and that didn't make things worse they're super important because here i could have blundered i could have blundered and done something else which would have made my position worse but instead shredder blunders and i mean look at this like what the hell shredders over here i go here i mean sorry shredders over there goes here I go backwards and Shredder moves the queen again. I mean, it's like, what the hell was that? You know, it's, yeah. I move the queen, so I hit it here. But also because I'm actually analyzing. So this is actually really good. I'm actually responding to what Shredder does as well. So I'm not missing a beat. Um, <clears throat> Shredder's still on the same, but it's only one, right? So I just move one other and now it's two. Getting ready to take it. This move completely garbage um, because it wasn't followed up by anything that looked. Yeah, and then it just blunders. And it wants to resign around here somewhere. Yeah, here. And then it keeps on going. <coughs> and 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 I mean, here. You can think, like, how can I get that rook? But that's a waste of time. you got to think about the king. And I actually like that, that fact that I didn't... That I was focused on, okay, is my king safe? Yes, my king is safe right now. So that's cool. And then also, because he doesn't have the offense, he only has one piece near my king. If it has several... Like, if this one was over here somewhere, it's dangerous, right? And I'm not attacking the king yet. But I mean, the middle game that I was speaking about earlier, I mean, this is all mine. Like, I'm the one that has the offensive here. These pieces are hitting, these guys are hitting, this one's hitting, this one's like, it's like, yeah. 
completely winning. Um, wait, let me see. Yeah, okay, good. So here I wasn't sure if he would take or not takes, which is really good for me. Um, because now I take. If, if I take and he takes, I don't have a pawn here and this one's stuck, right? <clears throat> but, by <clears throat> but by this one taking, I can take, so I take, and then I hit this as well. So it's a threat on this one. But then I think he does something else. Yeah, exactly. He moved this one. Yeah, he threatens this. And I'm like, it's fine. Like, I'm going for the win here. Like, if you take, it doesn't matter. But I do see this. I do see this. But also, when I hit this, and this is a super move my, by me, when I realize that, no, but this one actually, if I hit this, I defend at the same time. So the tempo storm right there is just amazing. That That's like play... That play is, <clears throat> that is the upper level of my play. That's, that's the, the max level of my, and it didn't take too long before I saw that, but there's also fewer pieces on the board. So it made it easier. And also, I mean, I don't have to worry about like, I mean, there's only one piece out. Well, there's two, but I mean, it's, I have one, two, three, four, five pieces out you know, that are hitting somewhere. Um, this guy has two, so it's super easy for me to calculate. Oh shit, I went too fast, sorry. So yeah, I just, I just wanna go back, but it's, it's this is a really good sequence for my part. Um, also, if, <clears throat> if I go here and he doesn't take, um, I think I was discussing pushing here, because then I have um then the pawn hits these two and if takes i take i mean no this one doesn't take. like never mind never mind but yeah uh i'm trying to think there might be something else that i'm missing here because i mean I, I am analyzing now so i might as well just go all the way right um and there's a huge difference in analyzing live analyzing live compared to waiting and and analyzing later and also i mean this is a win so usually i have a harder time analyzing wins but i think this game it's pretty straightforward and also i'll still look for things that i can change well actually for this elo it's not really worth analyzing finding things i can do better um what I mean is this, it's better to analyze games where there's more things happening because then I can go more in depth over time. So I can do part one, part two, but like however, however, however many parts I need, right? But here, I mean, this is one, maybe there they could be two goes, but it's not really, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think it's worth it really. Um, anyways, okay, so let's see. So I take, take, take. And then take, he just blunders that piece. And he doesn't even, he doesn't even, so when I take here, well, yeah, he tries to threaten that. And I could have missed that, missed that, missed it. So that, that calculation was good, actually. I like that. Um, actually lagging here. Um, I take, and then he goes, he thinks he can kick me, but there's no reason because no one's defending. He's lacking pieces, so I just hit. And then he hits that. And instead of worrying, like, instead of thinking, like, I should I grab the pawn, blah, blah. Because I've seen this before, so I just go forward. I've actually seen, so I have a game where I have these two guys. I think one is here and one is there, and I'm black. And the king is at, at this position. And I see the rook is here, and there's a knight over here. So I'm beginning to remember games now. This is a huge... And this is what they speak about when when you begin remembering games. Like, this is one of the first times that I actually remember a game. But this is so vivid because I because I knew that that I had chances to do things, but I wasn't sure what. And he had some stuff on the offensive. Um, there's actually several things where are quite which are quite similar to this game. So I'm actually going to write that down. That I need to analyze. So game two will actually be that game. Let's see. So this is game 
three, and then this becomes, oh shit, yeah. So this becomes game, yeah. So game two, uh, me as black with two bishops and the queen checkmate and the queen's checkmate. Because if I if I put those games together, it actually increases my learning. Because then I have two games in a row which are similar. Um, so remembering that these two together are super lethal is so good. Hitting here, hitting there. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, yeah. Okay, let me let me go back here. I, I'm going back just for the sake of having the flow of the game. Okay, so I go there. I don't care about that guy. And then after this, yeah, he moves the rook. Oh yeah, because he's trying to he's trying to stop me from doing some kind of thing here. But I have bigger plans, so I go straight up. Um, now I don't go here because I saw that he could take, so I don't blunder the queen, which is great. Actually, I I have to say this. If the rook wasn't here, I'm not sure if I would have remembered that I can't go here. Because if I go here, he takes, right? Well, actually, you could do this, takes, check. Never mind, never mind. I'm not, I'm not, even, I'm not gonna go into that. It's a waste of time. Okay, so let's backtrack. So I take, he, he goes forward, I take. He threatens my bishop. And I, he, he basically blocks the king here. So he, so he wants to take my uh, bishop, right? But the thing is, when I go forward, the king is stuck. So if I wouldn't have seen, and this is what I like, the fact that I'm going, I'm playing, so I'm playing for the win, and I'm also calculating correctly. I actually love that. Because in the past, it's like, oh, I want to go for the king. I want to win. I want to do that. And then I go, and then I don't see something, and I blunder a piece. But the blunders are a lot less now. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a good game. That's a really good game. I'm, I'm, um, I'm actually, so, let me see. Yeah, that's a good game. Wait, that's wrong. Let's see. So, let's load. Oh. I click the new thing. Hold on. So let's go. Uh, no result. Yeah. So my elo increased. I'm black. Uh, it's a bl it's shredder. Let's see. So it's a win by me. Is it this one? Yep. This one. You see here. Um, so the situation I was talking about was, uh, let's see, when, when I was, yeah, let's, let's go from here somewhere. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually going to go through the entire game at another point, but so wait, let's see. This game is good. This game is actually good. I'll just go through it. So I'm black. Um, I usually don't use the pawn on the same place. I mean, um, this way, the yeah, this formation basically. But here I went for that. And uh, he wasted a thing there as you can see and I go knight he goes I mean yeah yeah he's behind the development um I have four pieces towards the center he has three I actually castle he kicks I go back he kicks, I go back. Because if I go here, I'm dead. Like, I can't go anywhere. I'm dead. I mean, I can go here, but it's pointless. It's better to be safe and kick it back. Um, it was a misclick. So now his development is ahead of mine. 
but it's mostly pawns. Um, if he takes, I'm ready with the knight because he doesn't have a knight out yet and he can't get it to this square anyway, so it's completely fine. I don't think about that in the game. I think I don't know. It's hard to remember because also this isn't yesterday. I think this is. I think this is before. It might say in the video thing. I mean in the recording, but yeah. Um. Yeah, that bishop is complete garbage right now. But I mean, if you have ideas of going and hitting here, then you become pretty lethal in the future. Let me see here. What am I doing? Did I? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So here, that bishop is not dangerous yet. But I don't mind. I don't mind grabbing bishops with my knights, because that's for me. That's a great trade, because the bishops can hit from so far angles that the knights can't. The knights are great if the king is bundled up like this. Then the knight is great, and if you have other pieces or whatever. But if it's more open space, then I'll always have bishops. Um, and I can actually win with knights as well. It's just that it's harder for me to get into those situations because I don't play positional chess at such a level that I can have my knights be that useful. So here, uh, white has a lot more pieces developed. Not pieces, actually pawns. Um, I mean, that's just a waste right there. There might be a plan that I'm missing, but we'll see. Um, I move the rook because I have plans with moving this. So, so I want to I want to get my pieces out. I feel like it's time. Yeah, I mean, what the hell is this one doing? Jesus Christ! What's this? This is you take. This is one queen move, two queen moves, three queen moves, four. One, two, three, four, five. Shredder bugged out. Shredder bugged out. Yeah, no wonder I won this game. That's five times. That's giving a lot of, I like, the thing with Shredder, which is really good, is it gives you confidence. So, Shredder is not playing at 900 ELO. Um, but it's giving you, so yeah, this game is actually giving you confidence. I mean, the Shredder game, the Shredder chess game, the whole, like, software. It's really giving you confidence, which gives you a chance to win, and by winning... It increases its rating, and then if you keep on winning, it can create, like, yeah, I really like that. That's really, really good. Because also, I remember I was playing badly, I think, and I actually tanked my rating on the computer as well, because it felt like I wasn't good enough. But I mean, I'm definitely above, so versus the Shredder PC thing, I'm definitely 1, 1k. I should not play below, because it's too easy. Uh, as long as I calculate and do whatever I do. But the thing is, if I if I do waste time or if I play badly or whatever, um, it's better that I play versus the worst shredder because then it gives me more time to actually think. It's, it's kind of funny how that works because you could say that it's better to play versus the better shredder um, and then just taking more time. But the problem is by... Seeing the moves Shredder does wrong, that also shows me that I'm that I'm awake, that I'm focused, uh, which is a great thing. Like it's always a great thing to know that okay, I'm actually awake here. Um, so let's see. Uh, wait, hold on. What am I doing here? Oh, I think I have a plan with the queen. That's why. Okay, yeah, okay. So I actually, oh, I have the bishop there as well. I wasn't thinking of that. I have the bishop hitting. Okay, no, no wonder. Because I thought I actually, I thought I sacked my, uh, my thing. And also, this is another thing. If you look at the pieces, it's, I'm, I'm one pawn up, right? And I go for the sack. I, well, not the sack, but I go for the offense. And I actually like this play because I go for this and he moves the queen out of the way it's a solo piece so he can't do anything versus my queen yet and here 
I advance my queen to the center. And I'm like, okay, if I take my queen to the center, I'm hitting everything. Um, so this limits the things that they can do. And also I was prepared that maybe he wants to sack. He might want to sack here. Uh, and if he would, then I would have to move out of dodge. Because I, I, I would want to keep my queen. So he's hitting my um, this guy, right? And what did I do here? Oh, I don't see it. No, he's defended by my... I forgot, he's defended here. Okay, okay, never mind. I thought I, thought I blundered, actually. I, I, I thought I blundered. Okay, he pushes pawn. I take one pawn for free. I'm still defending. And he just wastes a move. Well, he's hitting... Oh, yeah, yeah, he wastes a move. That's just a waste. If you stand here... Well, I take... Okay, you can't stand there, actually. But if you stand here... I mean... Why? What the hell? Just move something else. Like, what? what is this? Oh, this one's... Well, you can go... No, oh, shit. This one's actually... You can't go there. You can't go here. That's actually... You can't... This one... And this one's... Jesus Christ. It's actually weird how things actually work in my favor. So these pawns not being moved is great for me. And he doesn't just want to sack the pawn because, I mean, if you move and you... Like, yeah... Yeah, I'm just positionally better. It's, it's, yeah, it's. Since I see Shredder's mistakes, although I see the mistakes even more now as I'm analyzing. Um, so if I saw this now, I would have an even easier time shutting Shredder down faster. But the thing is that because every time I analyze, I become better. Because if I analyze, I analyze deeply. Like, if I do it, I do it for real. I don't, like, half analyze. That's why I keep going back here. So he takes my pawn there for free. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. So he goes back. I take one pawn. So I'm up three pawns there. Now I'm up two pawns. And then, yeah, I threaten his queen. So I kick the queen. Um... He can't take any of these for free. He can't take that because I'm defending. Um, oh, yeah, I take the queen. So, that, oh, yeah, that, he blundered. I don't know why he blundered, but, yeah, I mean, that's I guess it's the elo. Because I remember in the game, I was like, what the fuck? Okay, that's a free piece. I'll take that. And here. So, the game that I played live, I told you that I had this situation, right? So, this is when it gets really important. So, from here... From this point on, from, from when he blunders this piece here, the queen, boom. When I'm in this situation, the only thing I'm looking for right now is how can I win? How can I win? And I'm super uncertain about how I can win. But I know that there's possibilities here. There's something here. He's blocked. These guys are here. Uh, there's possibilities here with the queen, maybe rook, like, yeah, I'm having those kind of ideas because I haven't, when I'm playing this game, I haven't realized how lethal these guys are. Like I haven't, like, I mean, this is just four square, like, this is a boom, 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 boom. This, this is like lightsabers, man. Fucking Star Wars, Boba Fett, like straight up the ass. Right. So, yeah. So I'm just trying to calculate, calculate, calculate. I go... Okay, he goes. So he pushes a pawn here. I don't know why, but he pushes a pawn. I guess that's all he sees. I would maybe push the rook or the knight, but okay. So I go here. Since he pushes the pawn, I'm like, okay, this is even better for me. Because now I might be able to execute my plan. So I go, boom. Okay, he goes forward. Again. So, I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he, he blunders. He actually plays worse than me. It's just that I'm learning from my own mistakes by seeing Shredder. It's as if... I think Shredder actually learns from how bad you play. So if you play really, really bad, then Shredder plays really bad. So that you can't lose. <laughs> so this plan here is I want to go here. I want to grab this Rook. And he, he blunders. Um... And moves this. So here, I grab the rook. Boom. And he doesn't even move this piece. 
he moves another pawn. And here, I'm like, yeah, because I actually calculate. Did I notice this beforehand? In this position, I don't think I saw the checkmate. But I saw the plan for grabbing the rook. I knew about that part. I wanted, I wanted to get rid of the rook. I knew that part. And I knew that the, the king couldn't move because I was in the, in the back rank with, the, with the, the thing, the queen, and then I had the bishops. And I didn't believe that he would let me take them. But it, he also chokes. That's what I like. It's, it's actually like Schroeder's playing like a choker. I like that. So I grab this. And he does another move. And he doesn't move this guy. because Oh, yeah, it's pinned. I didn't even think about that, that it's pinned. I actually didn't think about that. And, I mean, if you move the king, it doesn't, like, it, yeah. Jesus Christ. You can tell that Shredder actually resigned. Shredder's actually playing like a player that has resigned, that has given up. I actually like that. That's actually amazing. That's actually amazing, to be honest. That I can view it from that perspective, actually. So, this is checkmate. And when I play this game... I mean, now when I look at the game, I can see how many times... Like, I think Shredder wasted like 10 to 12 to... No, it's probably 15 moves that Shredder wasted versus me. Might be more actually, but yeah. Um, so, but the the fact that I that I saw this was also very. As soon as he blundered the queen, and that I actually played accurately here. I really like that part. That I, that my plan was so. Shredder did not play accurately, but I mean, if Shredder had played better, I would have calculated differently and maybe i lose and blunder but i mean what i love is the fact that i actually calculated stuff here like i took my time and i really like what can i do here like there's a win but how can i win and i mean that's when i learned this pattern with these guys so now like i will never ever forget that two bishops are super lethal in this situation because if they're here you can grab them, right? Um, but the fact that there's space is what makes it so hard for the for the king. <coughs> so yeah, two awesome games, which actually makes this an awesome video. Uh, because then I have, what's the playlist? Let's see what the playlist is. Oh, I shut that down. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to check that out later. Well, I guess I put that on now, but... Because I have a playlist, I think it's called like Chess My Best Games or something. I'm going to check. That I created. Because I have one playlist which is, which is for the worst games. And then I have another playlist which is for the best games. So it's actually amazing that I managed to um, play. Oh, I really hope. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to shut down. There might be sound from YouTube there. We'll see. Um, but luckily, uh, I think we're good. But Oh, there's no sound from desktop. It's only sound from my microphone. Uh, actually, I should have sounds from Shredder, I just realized. Because I like the chest sounds, I actually do. But I now I haven't listened to them, so I don't have headphones on either. So I could be lying. Um, but anyways, it's 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 taking a lot of time because my uh, I don't have my uh, I need to okay. I'm gonna pause OBS a little bit. Hold on. Oh, I can't pause. The hell. Okay, I don't know. I can't pause right now. Uh, I'm gonna optimize. So the, I don't know if the computer had issues right there, but yeah, I optimized and let's see. So YouTube creator, for some reason this isn't working. Okay, okay, now it is. that's funny. That's actually funny. So here, 
chess analyzing my games. That was a that was the first chess video I did with the anal anal anal. anal, anal I was about to say analyzation, which uh, t brought me into porn ideas. Um, so yeah, one playlist is my worst games ever. Another is chess games, my best games ever. So I'll make this public now. And then I'll upload the video because, um, yeah, this is really good actually. Yeah, I need, I need to turn this off because I'm just wasting time at the end here. But um, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, there's a lot of things going on and I'm happy to see my development. And I mean, just these two videos, um, I did not expect to, to win the game that I was recording. Um, right now I can't even remember the game because I'm I'm all up in this game, but it's it's um, the way that because also the way that I played this game, you can't see the mouse thing now, but the way that I was playing this game, um, or maybe you could, but anyways, it really yeah yeah it's interesting, man. Actually, surprising myself, and that's actually quite interesting interesting as well. I would say that these two games modeled each other. Shredder was doing mistakes, I was playing well, and I was calculating, and I was doing less mistakes than I usually do. And I was actually focusing on.